Okay. I just ran my first ever photography workshop. Rolling, feeding. All right, action. I feel like there was something for a photographer of every level. It's really gonna help me to take my content to the next level. And I'm so excited to implement this in the real world. The eyes are directing the audience to what we want them to see. This photography workshop was something that I'd been sitting on for a very long time. I finally decided to put it together, sat down, spent the time building out the structure of this day, this photography workshop course, and it ended up being really good. It was super well received, but it was a really nice moment for me to reflect on my career that I've had so far. Now, I don't want this just to sound like me boasting about my career. I want this to be something that you feel like you can go out and do and achieve yourself. And something that we're not very good at as creatives is giving ourselves a pat on the back when we achieve these goals or hit these milestones that we set out to do. For me, it was a very humble beginning starting this career. I was a carpenter, I hated that, and eventually turned my energy towards photography. Now, my journey within photography started with me doing a course. And that course just wasn't serving me at the time. I felt like I was learning a lot more from a platform like YouTube. And I wish I had channels similar to this one around back then because I feel like my growth would have just accelerated so much faster. And I learned a lot through this space and, and through this new age world of social media was my learning curve in photography. So with this in mind, for me to stand in front of 15 other people and teach them everything that I've learned over these years, through the experiences, through my own learning curves, through everything that I've had so far on this journey was such a great pinnacle moment in my career that I just felt really proud of myself for. And it, it took for me to do this photography workshop to actually reflect on all these milestones that I've done along the years. Like even me just starting my career as a photographer was such a great milestone for me that I never gave myself a pat on the back for. I'm doing so much stuff now that I would could never have dreamed of back in the day. And I just want this start of this video to be a little bit of a motivation for you at home, just to tell you that you can do this. There are so many different avenues or ways to build a career in the creative landscape right now. So I guess my main piece of advice to you would be go out and do and learn the craft and just enjoy the process because it is a journey and it does take time to achieve the goals that you set out to do. So let's talk about the workshop. I had 15 people turn up here at our studio, House of Grum Studio, and it was awesome. There was a mix of people from people who I would classify them as professionals. They're already being paid to either be a video creator or a photographer. We had a mix of video videographers and photographers in the space. We also had people who had never got their camera out of auto mode. And I was blown away to see the images that they created at the end of the workshop. Some of them were really top notch and thank you to Oshina for joining us on the day. She modeled for us in the practical component, but it was really inspiring to see these people from a single day grow from basically beginner to you could almost be a professional in one short time space. And I think that's what was so powerful about that day and something that I was really proud to be a part of and be a part of their journey. So let's get into the workshop. So what I'll do is I'll take a photo now and we can try and compare the two, the difference between a bit more of a softer look and a harder look. I think from this, my goal is to make lighting seem less intimidating until you dive in for the first time. I remember for me in particular, it felt like this real intimidating, unachievable thing to do. And it's really important to get some experience with it because it will make you a better photographer. Even outside, when you're shooting in natural lighting situations, you will just understand light better. So hopefully today we can get everyone up and have a little play with these lights. Oh, this is what a 100 megapixel camera does, by the way. Wow. <laughs> you got good skin. <laughs> You're doing well. So that's a bit of an introduction into modifying light. Now, I know we went through that really quickly and it really, it really just requires you to go out and use modifiers and play with them. Um, I know when you're, you're a beginner photographer, there's a few of you here who just, just want to take better photos of yourself even. 
Um, this may not be relevant to you at this stage, but um, if you're someone who is a photographer, like wanting, like aspiring to, to dive into photography more as a career path, then I would recommend just hiring a studio space, hiring a model, having like a half day shoot on, try to find something as cost effective as possible, hiring even just one light and just starting to have a play because that's the only way that you're gonna learn. How to pose people. So I've got a few dot points here that I'm just gonna run over with you and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Little, little subtle movements that create natural feelings and emotions. Hey, can you stand up and do a spin on the spot? Oh, my that. And in that moment, if you rapid fire that, you'll capture a frame out of that. That is a really great photo. Having that connection and that ability to be able to do that is gonna progress you on. Yeah. I make them fake laugh. It sounds dumb. I just say laugh fake. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> and then eventually they get so uncomfortable, they end up doing a real laugh. <laughs> See? Yeah. Yeah. So that's my one thing that I do. Make him, make him bellow, make him do a really fake laugh and it's so uncomfortable to do. And then they end up doing like, they end up looking, if it's a couple in particular, when there's two people, they end up looking at each other and they start laughing naturally then. And you get like those real genuine smiles out of them. Candid moment. Imagine a scenario of walking across the street and if you're doing it for the first time, you're going to like kind of walk across the street and you're going to be like, <laughs> that's why I, I kind of walk like this. But as soon as you give someone a prop and you put it in their hand, they kind of go into a character. They, they go, oh, I get it. I'm like a business person with my phone in my hand. So like they walk with more like purpose or they, you know what I mean? You can, I just feel like it, it just adds something, creates another element of comfort. Um, it also creates an element of interest as well. So what else could be a prop? Some flowers. Um, it, could be, it could be a shear that you're putting in front of the face and you're trying to create like a moment with the shear flowing through, like little things like that. Just adding props help with that, help with the posing process as well. The way that I went about this was what do I, what do I want this to work like and look like? Um, I want to create like a bit of a, a dreamy feel so you guys can do whatever you want when it's time to shoot. You can direct Oshina in whatever way, but she'll be sort of wearing something along the lines of what this mood board looks like. All right, any questions before we head over there? Got some tips and tricks on how to pose people and we're good to go. <coughs> So one of the key things that stood out to me today was the difference between working with um, basically an amateur uh, in a professional. Um, so literally working with those poses uh, ma makes life so much so much better. And then having the ability with Kurt there too, uh, being able to essentially give you that guidance, uh, help with the lighting, uh, and just basically help direct you. Um, I would totally recommend this uh, for, a, for a beginner. It's a great course. I really came out of today feeling like confident with my camera and um, like I can go out and actually take photos of people and be proud of it. And also being able to work with Oceana, that was just amazing. I feel like that's an experience I won't get anywhere else, so thank you the different types of lighting that are available. That was really, really handy to know. And then also how to use my camera. So going out of auto mode into manual mode, that was really, really handy. And I liked having that hands-on training because I suck <laughs> reading a book or something like that. So it was really good to do it in person. My favorite part of today was putting everything we learned in theory this morning out into action, being able to have the opportunity to work with a model, um, the time, the patience, uh, to basically, yeah, have a go and have a crack at everything we learnt and have the opportunity to make mistakes and learn on the job. So, very enjoyable. My favourite part from today was definitely the hands-on experience. So, being able to shoot out on location with a model um, on the beach and be able to get um, feedback in real time was incredible and be able to apply the skills that you learnt straight away and not having to hope for the best when you're out and on your own in the real world.
For being my first ever course, I can confidently say that I won't have to change too much. I, I feel like the day flow went really well. What I wrote up originally was actually probably too short, but it gave me the flexibility to add in a few more practical components and explain some more lighting techniques a bit deeply, which everyone really valued. And all in all, it was a really good day. So we're definitely gonna be doing it again. Um, I'm gonna leave the details just here beside me for you to check out. And I'll leave a link above for you to sign up to the next photo workshop. Now, make sure you get in fast because this one, it booked out pretty quickly and we only have limited spaces, especially for this space. It can only handle a certain amount of people in the space. So if you wanna be a part of this next photography workshop, get up there, sign up right now because you don't wanna miss out on it. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I just wanna say a massive thank you to everyone who came along to this workshop and enjoyed themselves and gave us such positive feedback. It was so incredibly nice to meet every single one of you and just see the growth from that single day from you. I also wanna thank my team and Oshina for also helping me bring this thing to life. I couldn't have done it without you guys. You're incredible. And thank you to you for always giving me such positive praise in the comment section and smash that like button as well while you're at it because you know we need to we need to like boost the algorithm a bit or something i don't know anyway subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next video thank you guys